Good morning. Glad you could join us again for prayer and coffee. Psalm 55, 17. Evening, morning, and at noon I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. In Mark 13, 33, Jesus said, Take heed, watch, and pray, for you do not know what time it is. Ephesians 6, 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Philippians 4, 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 Pray without ceasing. 1 Peter 4.7 But the end of all things is at hand. Therefore be serious and watchful in your prayers. It's day 9 of 10 days of prayer in Daniel fast. Tomorrow at sundown, our fast ends, but don't stop praying. The spiritual battle continues. The battle for souls continues. In Galatians 4.19, Apostle Paul declares, My little children, for whom I labor in birth again until Christ is formed in you. Paul birthed them through pr prayer. He called it labor in prayer. He birthed him through prayer and the gospel. And he is praying again with the same prayer and the word of God for Christ to be formed in them. We birth souls into the kingdom through prayer and through reaching them with the gospel. Prayer is necessary. Luke 10 verse 2, Jesus said, The harvest truly is great, but, sin, but laborers are few. Therefore pray the Lord of the harvest that to send out laborers into his harvest. Let's pray. Father, thank you for allowing me to enter into your presence in prayer. Thank you for letting me catch a glimpse of this present age through your eyes. And thank you for letting me feel the urgency of the spiritual battle for souls. The battle for those whose hearts who have, have grown cold. The battle for those who have drifted far from you. And the battle for those who are still held captive by sin. Lord, I lift up the prayer focus of our church. Make us into a people of prayer. Prayer that can break the chains of darkness and set people free. Prayer that can release your, your mighty power to bring healing and deliverance and salvation. Prayer that can bring passion back to the lukewarm. Prayer that can bring prodigals back to Father's house. We desire to be led by the Holy Spirit in all things, clear-minded and self-controlled so that we can pray first, pray always, pray continually and pray thankfully. May everyone recognize that this is your desire for all, not just a few. Father, use us to stand in the gap for others in prayer. Let there be a prayer ministry at Community Haven that is powerful and effective and connected to the throne of heaven. Our eyes are on you, Jesus, as we pray in your precious name. Amen.